Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video. And in today's video I'm showing you guys some awesome Babylon's Fall gameplay running on the PlayStation 5. And before we get into today's video I do want to give a special thank you and shout out to Square Enix for hooking me up and a lot of my friends and of course my girlfriend um, beta access to Babylon's Fall so we could all play together, get some cool footage for you guys and everything. And before we get into this video, also I do want to give a sh special shout out to my buddy Jay Craze, Nevermore, and of course my girl Aki Rain for um, helping me out, helping me get some good footage and stuff for you guys like that. And don't let the footage in the background fool you. I've actually made a solid amount of progress during this beta, and I want to talk to you guys about those achievements before we go ahead and talk about my impressions of the beta, just so you guys know that, you know, there is some legitimacy behind my words. So, first and foremost, I got... A little bit over halfway to what is supposed to be the maximum gear score cap of 40. In this beta, I hit roughly a power level of um, 23. The highest dungeon in here goes to 40. I did four out of the total six dungeons available in the game. And I um, also played uh, a good amount of hours during the beta. Got myself some basic gear, some, um, some common gear, uncommon, some legendary. As you guys can see, there are some purples here in my inventory and stuff like that. So yeah, I've had a good chunk of experience with this beta and a lot to talk about. So first and foremost, if you're here for, you know, the whole um, typical mindset that's been following the game for a while, the whole, uh, well, Babylon's Fall looked like this cool single player game and now it's a live service and yada, 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 and the trailer looked like this, something like that. You're not going to get that argument here. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, I suggest you go watch another video. No disrespect to anybody. I'm an MMO channel. I play a lot of MMO RPGs and looter games. So when I heard Babylon's Fall was a looter game, I fell in love immediately and I was like, yo, this is something right up my alley. And hopefully a lot of my viewers and stuff like that appreciate the, this game too. But um, the first and foremost thing that's going to stand out to you about Babylon's Fall is obviously the combat. The combat is mwah. The combat's amazing. The soundtrack is awesome. Just the, the type of typical quality you would expect from a platinum game. Come on, these guys made Bayonetta, they were going to be making Scalebound, they've got a bunch of decent titles, you know, under their belt. If you know who Platinum Games are, you know the kind of quality to expect here with this combat. And this game feels eerily <laughs> a lot, the combat, at least the combat in here, feels eerily a lot like I'm um, near Automata. I swear um, Square Enix had, you know, a little bit of uh, input sprinkling some near genes in this game or something, because the combat feels eerily like it sometimes and I am not kidding but it's really smooth really action-packed really you know button mashish and stuff like that and the cool thing about this game is right you guys see the weird looking hovering weapons behind my character well that's kinda how your um how your magic works in this game so you can equip four weapons total the, the one that you put in your main hand which would be the square button that'll work you know as the regular form of weapon. so if it's a sword you swing it if it's a mage staff it fires magic or whatever and the other weapons that you have they'll be used as like a magical version of themselves like through this gameplay you guys will see me like um swinging around a another sword and a, and a great hammer with like this fiery aura type type stuff around it well that's pretty much you know the the magic version because i have it equipped in a different slot so the build combinations and stuff like that that you can do in this game are insane the stats are broken down and real simple it's literally vitality spirit spirit regen and um your strength your your basically your attack power so i do i do appreciate that they keep a lot of things simple however one silly thing with babylon's fall that um that just that bugs me when it came to taking games to this beta number one there was no way to play with your friends however there was a little cheesy workaround that we were able to do that's how i was able to bring all my friends into the lobby but another thing about this game is there was no really good tutorials or anything that teaches you ju just you know anything really about the game like how the um how the weapon combos work there's a bunch of weird names for like um spells and different status effects in the and the gear pieces and stuff like that that aren't explained and the thing that bothers me is i hope the real game just teaches you a lot of that because the thing about babylon's fall is right there's a lot of death here but this beta does such a terrible job of showing it <laughs> and that scares me because it's a good game that just doesn't give a great impression right away you know unless you're an 
RPG or MMO or like, you know, kind of specialist person and you know you're you're used to these kind of things for a beginner player it could just turn them off right turn them off right away now the game if i could compare it to anything i would prepare i would compare it to something like um probably like dauntless picture dauntless but um with flashier combat and dungeon based some instead of um monster based so you know think of like a a hub based kind of like you know mmo like experience um every single dungeon's up to four players you guys see me running with three in here um every single dungeon has like anywhere between three and five chapters the chapters are all basically just um combat combat scenarios and the thing is another thing too is like it doesn't go the, the beta itself doesn't tell you much about the lore which can be you know a little bit of a disappointing thing and that's my only concern is this beta doesn't do a good job of explaining and showcasing you know what this game's about or what you're supposed to be doing or why you're doing any of this. And that's whether, you know, teaching the player or people that are lore curious and want to learn more about the game. I just hope the full game is a lot better at, you know, j just introducing itself. That's all. It's it's kind of like, you know, you, you, you meet some new person and you invite them over for dinner and they don't go and say, you know, well, hi, my name's Chris and I am blah, 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 blah. They just sit down at the table and start eating. <laughs> that's kind of what, what Babylon's Fall does, and that's really my only concern. But other than that, I had a lot of fun. The gear grind is fun. The um, the loot drops are crazy. The um, All the different rarities drop frequently and often, and even in this low-level stuff. Now, granted, it is a beta, so those kind of things could change. They very well could make the drop rarity is a little more rare and stuff like that in the full release. But if this beta is any indication of what the full game is going to be, I'm happy. Like I said, I just hope the game does a better job of presenting itself to players than this beta did. But anyway, guys, you all enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.